city of Wuhan has 11 million inhabitants, but the new virus has turned it into a ghost town. Japan cancels a series of rugby matches in the country for fear of coronavirus. The coronavirus has been named. The virus will henceforth go by the name of COVID-19. What are you doing here? Why, why are you with me out here? Shouldn't you be at home? And, you know, like isolated and, and staying home and not, not spread the virus and all that stuff? Well... Well, I'm just out here in nature all by myself. I... I don't think... It, no, no, you know what? No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry about that. It's... <laughs> I'm out here in nature. I'm, I'm pretty safe from this virus right now. I'm I'm sure that nothing's gonna happen to me out here. With all those trees around, there's plenty of space for you know nature, and nature can't affect me. And you know, you know best is to be outside and all that stuff. So um, why are you here again? Oh, the uh, end of the month video for March. Yeah. Um, oh, okay, we're doing this right. Uh, all right, right. Um, cool. I'll be ready. Sorry. Here we go. Hi everybody, I'm Mads and I am out here in um, the middle of nowhere in Silkeborg. I have a forest right behind me and uh, I have some lakes right nearby and we are doing this March video apparently here because the audience decided to come with me during my run for isolation. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's talk about what I did this month. Go! So the beginning of March actually begins by the end of February, where me and all my classmates were tasked with pre-production lessons. And we were uh, drawing some different uh, storyboards from different movies of these scenes that are happening, what setting is the camera in and what is being said, how is the, um, the overall structure of the shot that you're seeing. There's a lot of stuff you have to, to do when you're writing all these storyboards. And I realized it's pretty hard <laughs> because there are a lot of um, things you have to draw. It's very time consuming. And my teachers did also tell me that some storyboard artists don't really do actual storyboards as well. There are some who just use post-it notes and like put them up on the wall and, and write text on them and says, this is what happens in scene one, setting one, scene one, setting two. Uh, and so on and so on. So there are some some ways around it, some loopholes around if you don't want to sit and draw an entire picture of it. But a storyboard can actually lead to some very beautiful uh, photos. I remember when we were in Berlin, we were at the, um, the film museum where we saw some storyboard shots from the old Metropolis film from 1927 by uh, directed by Fritz Lang. And there, there were some very beautiful art styles of the uh, this metropolis of what uh, the humans' expressions were looking like, and they were very, like, real. It was almost comic book-like. Even for the 20s, storyboard artists were incredibly talented. But I wasn't as talented as them because I still draw like I'm, I was six, because I'm terrible at, at drawing, and I don't think I'm really gonna be a storyboard artist. I think I'm just gonna use post-its, maybe, like, some directors to write what is gonna happen in the shot, because I'm terrible at drawing. So, um, that was that. After the pre-production lessons, we started learning about lights. So we were using the, all the school's equipment, and we learned about the different names of the lights, such as redheads and snails, and how the lights are standing, they're doing bounces on your face, 
or they're coming from the back. And we were learning about how to positioning them um, in different places. And that would all collide in the first week uh, where we were doing our first major project, which had the name continu Continuity. Contin contin continuity. And the Continuity project is basically about um, having people doing the same things in the next scenes so we can kind of follow them if the camera switches angles and uh, what's happening in the shots and we have uh, different techniques of doing it and I was uh, with a team and we decided to go down in the school's uh, major uh, hall where I filmed the February video actually and we set up this entire set of um, what looked like a cafe. We had plants, we had some tables, we had chairs, some kettles, which we used to kind of fill up all of our coffee. And we made this really fun film about switching things. So for example, I was coming in to get some coffee and there's another person coming in who gets some tea. Then my phone starts ringing and it's uh, some Japanese guy that I know and I start speaking Japanese. And then without knowing it, I grab the person's tea and we drink the tea and don't realize that we are having the wrong thing and just spit it out and look at each other and start laughing. It's not a big story for a, our first big project in a way, but it's a funny thing just really to show that the old switch rule still is relevant today and it still should be in that sense. Now, we were editing this project uh, in all these group rooms here and we were well on our way to get it finished. On Wednesday, uh, was it... Uh, I don't remember the day, but it was a Wednesday uh, where we were editing all of this and we were all happy and we were, we were going to be really happy that we were going to finish it tomorrow um, so we could you know, take it to the teacher and we could show off all of our work. Unfortunately, uh, that same day in the evening, there was um, an announcement from the Danish government that uh, the entire country was uh, put on lockdown. Uh, due to the ongoing coronavirus situation, COVID-19, if you need a different name for it. And uh, the school, unfortunately, that also hit the school right away because we had to um, close the entire school down. Everybody couldn't come in there for 14 days, uh, which is also including the day I'm filming this. We're still ongoing with the um, suspension of all our um, teachings. So... I don't know if, maybe by the time this video is uploaded, I'll be back in school, but if not, it's probably because the virus is still ongoing and uh, we still have to stay home. I hope I certainly can come back and start learning more of all these things. We have gotten several messages from our teachers that we have to keep ourselves going. And that's what I'm basically doing right now. I'm filming all of this. I don't want to lose any knowledge of what I've um, learned from these people. Uh, they've helped me a lot and so I want to want to keep doing this for my own sake so this is also very personal I'm feeling a bit refreshed I feel a bit refreshed because sitting at home doing absolutely nothing and just you feel a bit isolated and this is the reason why I'm, I'm out here filming at least so I can gain a little bit of fresh air and just you know continue on with what I'm doing so with that said um, I also am working right now personally this is one of my personal projects as well I'm working on a stop-motion film and I have spent the last three days uh, filming it and I'm still not finished yet. It may be released in April or maybe by the end of March, I'm not quite sure. The last deadline I probably would want for this film is probably going to be mid-April. That depends if the virus is still ongoing but I have no idea this time so I am I'm just doing what I'm doing. I'm keeping myself alive. That's really what I've been and am doing this month. So um, I hope that we all can get through this virus together. I want to say it's heavily recommended that you stay home because you don't want to infect somebody else. It's difficult, I know. But if you absolutely must go outside and maybe take a walk, go somewhere where there are a lot of less people, where you know not many people come. Maybe nature like this and uh, be sure to bring a hand sanitizer with you. And remember, if you meet somebody, uh, if you meet elderly people, people who are older than you and people who do, do look sick, keep your distance. It is important that we don't spread this virus and it's important that we contain it. So I hope you're with me on this and thank you for watching this video and I'll see you by the end of April.